Hey everybody, uh, so I basically uh, had given up on YouTube, uh, just things got crazy in my life and I didn't have time for it and it was taking a lot of time, but I've been getting a bunch of cool gear and I uh, have been missing it kind of a little bit and so uh, I wanted to show off, I, I bought a couple uh, packages of surplus knives from an online auction and uh, so here's here's a couple packages, I'll open the first one here, um, was some Victorinox uh, knives and uh, the other package was some SOG multi-tools. So uh, let's let's get into it. Check it out So here's package number one. It came from the state of Montana surplus property. Um, I've been sitting on this for a little while because I, which normally is hard for me because I like to open knife packages right away. Uh, but I was debating about doing a video or not. And so I held on to it, both packages and didn't open them. They've been sitting around actually did a video and opened the other package the other night but this is the second package and i'll open it first on the video because i didn't like my intro with the other one the cool thing about these victorinox knives from the surplus uh which i thought was cool they're they're not all just uh you know the red uh swiss army knives that you're used to uh this this lot had uh, some different colors some camo uh alox i think and all of them came with sheaths which i thought was super cool um leather sheaths canvas sheaths uh so let's get into it i haven't seen these yet this is the first one on top here it says uh victorinox nice leather sheath i'm not gonna know which models these are but this one's got the alux alux handles nice looking knife let's see i'll probably have to look up it's got all well a reamer and a, uh, I'll have to look up what model's there. It's got the blade and uh, can opener, cap lifter, screwdrivers, and a pair of scissors. Some of you Victorinox experts will know exactly which knife this is, but uh, for me, I don't know. So I'll have to Google that. The best thing about Victorinox is the scissors. I mean, it's got to be the scissors. I uh, carry the rambler on my keychain all the time and besides the toothpick the scissors are the thing i use the most um just they make a great scissor all right the what ones i think that's a bigger multi-tool let's look at some of these other knives first so here's another one this one's got a black leather sheath This is a camo model. It's got the corkscrew on the back. It's got a, uh, this one's got a few more tools on it than the last one. Well, it's got an awl and a reamer there. It's, oh, it's got the parcel hook too. Some of you are probably like, well, I've already got these Victorinox knives. Why would you buy these on an auction? Well, I like the different colors and I, I have small Victorinoxes that I carry on my keychain, but I don't really have any of these larger size Victorinoxes. And so I'm getting to the point in my knife collecting that uh, I just want something simple. <laughs> And you can't get much more simple than a Victorinox. You know, I've tried a bunch of multi-tools. There's some I like, Leatherman, Sog, you know, Gerber even, but uh, these ones are just so simple and handy to have and they're good quality. There's a reason they're the best-selling knives in the world and they've been a lot around so long. 
All right, another one, similar style case. This one's got the red handles on it. Handy tweezers and toothpick. This model, oh, this is the, I forget which one this one is, but it has the, the little spyglass on it. I'll have to try that out. Reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to use the little magnifying glasses to, to burn leaves and make fires and start ant or start burn ants. You know, the ants would never hold still long enough to burn them. So you almost had to incapacitate them. I know that's cruel. All right. Is this called the Explorer? I, I really can't remember what this one's called. The Discovery, something like that. And it's got the awl and the parcel hook and uh, the corkscrew on the back too. I've been wanting to, I haven't had a Swiss Army knife with a corkscrew. I've been wanting to try out some of those little um, attachments that you put into it, like the micro screwdrivers and the, and the, and the fire starter stuff. Here's a, this one's got a nice 3D Phillips head on it. These are cool. I'm really glad I got this. I think the whole box I ended up paying 127 bucks for. But it's pretty good value considering how many knives are in here. There's three, looked at three already and there's three more multi-tools in there. Oh, we got a blue version. Is it more of the same? These are pretty simple ones. Are they called the Huntsman or something like that? I, I should know. There's so many models of Victorinox though. I've never tried to memorize them. It's got the scissors, same tools as the others. I mean, really no difference there. The only difference is I'll have a different color to match my EDC for the day. I'm gonna carry a blue flashlight and a blue lighter. I'll have a blue knife to go with it. All right, another one. This one's a leather sheath, but it's a little bit nicer because it has that metal Victorinox logo on it, whereas the other ones just were stamped. Oh, this one's kind of a see-through pink color. That's cool. You can see through it and see the see the tweezers. We wanted to get a plus scale too, so you can have some more attachments. Uh, this one's got a bunch of grime in it. I guess they don't bother to clean them up before you get them. This says Officer Suisse. Is that the model? Oh man, somebody was cutting pine bark with this. It's just got sappy stuff all over it. Okay, this looks like the same model with the magnifying glass on it again. Just different colored scales. That one's gonna need some TLC. That's why you get used knives. A lot of my knives I have bought used, um, either from thrift stores or um, discount stores that sell markdown used stuff. All right, and the Victorinox multi-tool, Swiss tool. I don't have one of these, so, and they're not cheap. So that was a good to get in here with all these Swiss Army pocket knives. Cool feel solid seems like people are debating I've watched some videos online of whether the Swiss tool or the spirit is better I mean the spirit definitely looks sleeker but some people seem to think that the size and quality of the tools on well maybe not quality but the, the scale of the tools on this one are a better option Okay, so they have their locking mechanism. You slide these down to release the tools. It's nice that they lock.
Well, this is cool. Good sized blade. Many of you are familiar with these Swiss Army knives and with the tool set on them, so I don't need to do a lot of explaining here. But I don't feel bad at all for getting all these Swiss Army knives for 127 bucks. And uh, with the SOG multi-tools that I got in the next lot, some of those I'm going to give away as gifts because you, I don't need that many uh, duplicates. But these ones are not really duplicates because they all have different scales, even though some of them have the similar tool set. So I am super stoked about this. Uh, I'm noticing these tools are not so easy to get out some of them not sure what i'm doing wrong there don't love that look at that saw it's curved at the end there that'll probably help you grip the wood pretty good and of course the big scissors that are famous look at that just good quality all around tools you can't go wrong with these victor noxes Awesome, let's open the next package. Video, I bought some, uh, a, a lot uh, on an online auction of uh, SOG multi-tools uh, from the Arizona Department of Administration. It was a surplus auction they had and it ended up being a pretty good deal. Um, I think, I, I haven't opened them, I haven't seen the condition. It was just pictures and not very good pictures at that. But there's several different small multi-tools in here, but uh, it looked like there was about five or six power pints, which is one of my favorite small pocket multi-tools. Um, I, I have one, I really like it, I carry it a lot. And uh, I thought if I could get five or six of them in here, plus some other little multi-tools, it might be a good lot, uh, you know, to give away uh, for uh, around the holidays or something to friends or family. Um, so that's kind of why I bought it. Uh, but let's check it out and see what's in here. So, it's got, I uh, guess I don't want to show you the shipping information. Then you'd have my address and all that good stuff. So, let's just open the box here. Let's see what we got. Well, they did a decent job of packing. Got them all lumped together in here. So they got them all in lots of peanuts. I think that's everything that's in there. So I'm not sure where these come from, other than, uh, you know, they probably confiscated them from people. Um, yeah, I see some power pints. There's quite a few of those. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four. Um, my bid on it was $107 and these are about 50 bucks each. So I felt pretty good about that um, when I knew. And then there's a couple other tools in here too. We'll have to check those out. So yeah, there's five of them. I didn't have a black, I didn't have any black ones though. So I was kind of excited about that. So the Power Pint uh, has a decent set of pliers it's gear driven so these nice little gears here you probably see it better on one of the silver ones it just is so smooth opening because of that gear drive and it actually has a bit a bit driver a slot for a bit bits up there so you can turn it into a screwdriver or something like that um i really liked these because all of the tools are locking so you got a nice little saw locks into place. Um, you can unlock it by pushing on this black uh, inset there. It's got. A, uh, I love this uh, little, um, you know, nice Warren Cliff blade. Really slicey, locks up. And uh, the other way you can uh, release them is by opening another tool. And then that will allow you to close them so you don't have to actually open it. A small uh, Phillips head driver. Oh, I'm having trouble getting stuff out. You got a file. Looks like with a wire stripper on the end. 
and uh, you know a little cutting hook for cutting belts or or whatever and it's actually got kind of an edge there that you could use it for a screwdriver too scissors uh, decent pair of scissors put that back before I get cut on it these ones look like they're all in relatively good shape. So even to get six of these for under, for 130 bucks is a good deal. You got a Phillips head, got a can opener, um, cap lifter, you got all the, all the stuff. And they have a nice pocket lift clip. Um, these in a lot of my jeans will fit in the fifth pocket. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I'll probably hang on to one of the black ones because I don't have a black one. The other ones might find a home with somebody else. Let's see what else we got in here. We got some little SOG keychain tools. Um, I've seen these ones. I think they're called Snippet. I'll put that in the comments uh, if that's not right. Um, looks like uh, you've got cap lifter, a small flat head screwdriver, a nail cleaner with a file. It looks like it's a toothpick. I, mean, I don't have one of these. It uses kind of that, it looks like it's got a spring driven uh, it's gear driven also, but it has spring. Nice big scissors. Um, and then you've got another flat head, maybe a little bit of a scraper and a pair of tweezers. They don't feel too sturdy, but I think these might be discontinued. They've kind of been replaced by some of SOG's other tools. But I think they did sell for around 30 bucks when they were out. So there's uh, a few of those. There's one, two, three, four, five, five of those. And then I've got two other tools here. Oh no, these, the, those, those ones, I don't know. Actually, I take it back. These little SOG ones are called the crosscut. It says right on them. I should have realized that. This one is the one that I was thinking of that I think is called the snippet. It has a, you know, finger protection for your fingers when you're using your scissors. These could be an, uh, an alternate to the little Leatherman tool that I have that's got the pair of scissors on it. Is that all that's in here is a pair of scissors? No, they've got some other tools in there. It looks like I don't have one of these either. So it has a knit, a file with a nail, nail cleaner on it. And it has a flat head and a, um, small Phillips with the cap lifter. It also looks like it has some sort of a toothpick. So these are kind of more personal grooming tools. Oh look, it does have a blade. It does have a blade, okay. Let's see how this blade is. Well, kind of an interesting, uh, you know, drop point, but it's got a little swell there. I guess you could put your, doesn't lock though. Just a regular kind of slip joint, or maybe even a friction folder. Well, I think those ones are discontinued too. So some of these smaller SOG multi-tools, I'm not sure you can even find those anymore. And I didn't have one in my collection, so I guess that's good. So all in all, you got five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven SOG mini multi tools. 
uh, for 130 bucks. I didn't think that was bad at all. Um, I did uh, get another, win another little auction with some Swiss Army knives, so I'll have to show that to you. I'm gonna check these out, clean them out, sharpen them up a little bit, and uh, see uh, see what we can do with them. Oh, I guess I'll open this one up. Three different uh, little pocket multi-tools from SOG. So I haven't uh, heard too many great jokes lately, but here's a couple to maybe tide you over until uh, a year from now when I decide to post another video. But um, so do you know uh, why being married is like living in California? Because when you find a fault, don't dwell on it. Uh, do you know what, uh, what they call uh, the hippie's wife? Mrs. Hippie. And uh, do you know what you call someone who tells dad jokes who isn't a dad? A faux pas. <laughs>